Welcome back to your map. Um, today we're going to be using a block. You can certainly do most of the poses, well, all of the poses without a block, but I really suggest that if you have one, you grab a block because we're going to be focusing a bit more on core and building some core strength, not just in the abdominal muscles, but in the legs and arms by using the block as well. So once you have that, just set that at the top of the mat and we'll get started in a child's pose. Let the big toes come together, knees open nice and wide, stretching the arms overhead, bring the forehead down to the earth. And take a moment to simply be here. Take a deep belly breath in. Open mouth, exhale it out. Inhale. Open mouth, exhale. And then begin to settle into your ujjayi breath. Make any movements that you need to in order to rest the body, to let it sink a little bit deeper, and to allow your mind to focus on the breath. Too often I find that we are focused on all the things that we wish would change externally, when really what we need to do is focus on how we can change internally. And so we'll focus on making some of those internal changes today. And it all starts with the cleansing breath, letting that inhale nourish the body, and letting the exhale cleanse. On your next inhale, rise to a tabletop. Hands can come right underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. On an inhale, lift, chin, chest, tailbone to the sky for a cow pose. Feel the stretch in the belly. On the exhale, round the back, sending the gaze to the belly button for cat. Inhale to return to cow. Exhale for cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Come to a neutral spine. Push down into that left hand. Reach the right arm forward. Bicep right by the ear. And then that left leg reaches long behind you at hip height. Curl that pinky toe down toward the earth. Take a deep breath in. Find length. Exhale. Elbow comes to the knee right underneath the body. Inhale. Stretch it out long. Exhale. Curl it in. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, curl it in. Hold it here. See if you can lift that right foot off of the earth. Push the earth away. Reach it all out long. Extend and set it down. Inhale for cow pose. Exhale, round the back. Come into cat. Return to neutral spine. Push into the earth with the right hand. Reach the left arm forward. Bicep by the ear. Draw the belly button in. Reach the right leg long behind you. Hip height. Take a deep breath in. Find that length. Extend. Exhale. Elbow comes to the knee. A little bit of a bend with that right elbow. Inhale. Reach it out long. Exhale. Curl it in. Inhale to reach. Exhale. Curl it in. Hold it here. Can you lift that left foot? No big deal if you can't. It's just an added core challenge. Reach it out long, extend, and set it all down. Step the right foot back, and then the left foot, high plank. Push into the earth, let those shoulder blades spread across the back. Go ahead and lift the left leg just one inch off of the mat. Set it down, change sides, lift the right leg. Change sides. And one more time, lift the right leg. Return to high plank. Send the hips high to the sky. Downward facing dog, setting your drishti right between the feet. 
pushing the chest toward the thighs. On an inhale, lift the heels to the sky and exhale to lower them. Do that a few more times, matching your breath to your movement. Hold steady in your down dog. Let's warm up the body a little bit. Lift that right leg high to the sky. Lift from the inner thigh. Exhale, step it forward, low lunge. Both hands come inside of the front foot. And now take small circles with the hips to the left. And change direction. Once again, frame that front foot with the hands. Release the left knee to the earth. Arms reach high to the sky. Exhale, goal post the arms. Push the hips forward. Open up the chest. Inhale to reach tall. Exhale, high twist to the right. Sending the gaze toward the back thumb, squeezing the inner thighs together. Inhale, return to center. Exhale, hands to the earth, step back for a high plank. Send the hips high to the sky, downward facing dog. Using that inner thigh, lift the left leg high to the sky. Exhale to step it forward. Bring both hands inside the front foot. Small hip circles to the left. and change direction. Frame that front foot once again, lower the right knee to the earth. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, goal, post the arms. Inhale to reach tall. Exhale, high twist to the left. Listen to your breath. Inhale to return to center. Exhale, hands come down to the earth. Step back, high plank. Pause here. Draw the belly in. Feel the knees and thighs lifting toward the sky. Send the hips high. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Slow breath out. Walk the feet about halfway up the mat. Find your block and bring it to the top of the mat, right in the middle. I like to have mine uh, maybe at the medium height today. You can try it at the low height as well. Thumbs come to the outer edges of the mat. Fingers are off of the mat. So we're going to take some standing push-ups. Bend the elbows and lower the crown of your head down to the block. Touch it and pop back up. Lower and pop back up. Now if you're finding this to be too easy, you might not have your feet close, close enough to the top of the mat. Try not to bend your knees. Just bending the elbows and touching the block. You've got two more in you. Use your breath. And then walk to the top of the mat, and we'll take a rag bow here. Feet are hip distance apart, nice deep knee bend. Make a picture frame of the face, and sway a little bit side to side. Notice the pace of your breath after those little push-ups. Maybe they're big push-ups. And we'll rinse those shoulders, interlacing the fingers behind the back, sending those knuckles up to the sky if that feels good for you. Releasing the hands to the earth, grab that block and bring it between the thighs. Squeeze into the block with the thighs, fold forward once again. And now slowly rise all the way up. To mountain pose, Tadasana, arms to the sky. Squeeze into the block. Exhale, twist to the right, open twist. Inhale to come to center. 
Exhale, twist to the left. Notice how this allows your hips to stay centered. Inhale, come back. Exhale, twist right. Push into the black as you inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Squeeze into the block, draw the belly in. And take a cycle of breath and gratitude here for someone or something. And a cycle of breath and forgiveness of yourself or of another. And a cycle of breath to set an intention. Perhaps that is to work on the internal change instead of waiting for the external to change. Opening the eyes, keeping the block right where it is. Squeeze into the block. Inhale the arms to the sky. We'll take our sun ace with the block. Exhale to fold forward. Don't doubt yourself. You've got this. Inhale, halfway lift, bend the knees, keep the palms flat on the earth. You're going to jump back into a low plank. That just means the elbows will be bent. Here we go. Jumping back, low plank. Inhale through, up dog, block is still between the thighs. Exhale it back, down dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. Now we'll jump forward, bend the elbows, bend the knees. Lift the hips as you jump forward, squeezing into the block. Halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise tall, mountain pose, Tadasana. Squeeze into that block. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift halfway. Bend those knees deep so you can plant the hands. Jump back into that low plank position. Inhale through, upward facing dog. Exhale back. Down dog. Deep breath in. Slow breath out. Bend the elbows, bend the knees. Jump to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Keep squeezing into that block. Inhale, rise tall, mountain pose, Tadasana. One more time with the block. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, knees are bent, palms are flat, jump back, low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in, slow breath out. Bend the elbows, bend the knees. Jump to the top of the mat. Halfway lift and fold. Set the block off to the side. Rise all the way up, mountain pose, Tadasana. One more sunny on your own without the block. Notice how different it's going to feel. Hopefully stronger. And send those hips back high to the sky. Down dog. Take three cycles of breath here. Push forward into the fingertips more so than the base of the palm in your down dog. On an inhale, lift that right leg to the sky. Exhale, step it forward, spin the back heel down. Rise to warrior one. Allow yourself to surrender into this pose. Lower body sinks, push down into that right heel. Exhale to airplane the arms, reaching the crown of the head forward, fingertips reach back. Think about drawing that right hip back, spinning the left thigh toward the earth. On an inhale, sweep open to warrior two. Let the front knee track toward the pinky toe here and still press down into that right heel. It'll activate that quadricep muscle. Exhale, extended side angle. Right forearm to thigh, left fingertips reach forward. See how much space you can create in that left rib cage. Inhale, reverse your warrior. 
right arm to the sky, left hand lightly placed on that back leg. Still maintain that beautiful lunge in the front leg. And exhale, hands come down to the earth. Step back, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale to draw it forward. Rise to warrior one. We often think about that front leg. Really stretch out that back leg by pushing into that right heel. On the exhale, airplane the arms, squeezing shoulder blades together. Think upward dog chest. On your inhale, sweep open to warrior two. Let the hips open up here. Push into the feet. Exhale, extended side angle, forearm to thigh, right fingertips reach forward. That palm faces down. We turn our sternum toward the sky. Push down into that left heel as you reverse your warrior. Gaze can be down, it can be up. It should be wherever you can breathe comfortably. And then we'll exhale, hands to the earth. Step back, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. So we'll take that one breath per movement just one time, warming up the body, finding some meditation in the movement. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, airplane the arms. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale it down to the earth. And flow through a vinyasa or go right to a down dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale to step forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, open to two. Exhale, extend. Inhale to reverse. And exhale it down to the earth. Stepping it back. High to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in and out. One more time. And we'll come to the top of the mat. Halfway lift and fold. Separate your feet enough that you can bring that block between the thighs once again. And we'll sink into a chair pose. Hips sink down, thighs squeeze into the block, arches of the feet lift. Focus in on your breath. The right hand comes to the hip, left arm extends, reaches taller. Exhale, twist to your right. Bring that elbow outside the right thigh. Palms come together, right elbow to the sky. Sink a little bit lower as you squeeze into the block and let the heart lift. One more cycle of breath. On your exhale, fold forward, set the block off to the side. Standing splits. Lift that left leg high to the sky. High is relative. The goal here is to allow the crown of the head to release down. 
push that right hamstring back and draw that right thigh toward your center line. Lift your gaze. Bend that front knee, step the left foot to the back of the mat, airplane the arms. Lower that left hand to the earth for a low twist. Return to airplane arms. And inhale, arms lift to the sky, crescent lunge. So allow that back knee and thigh to lift toward the sky and push down into the right heel. Inhale, lift a little taller. Exhale, high twist to the right. We've been here before with that knee down. This time, the balance challenges us a little bit more, but still see if you can gaze back to your thumb. Stay with the twist, send the gaze forward. Revolved half moon, left hand with the back heel as you bring the left hand down either to the earth or the block, and then lift that left leg, maybe hip height, as you turn the heart to the right. Now imagine that that right hand is placed on a wall and is pushing against the wall to help you twist. Come to a forward fold, stepping forward, releasing the hands from the block. Set that block off to the right side of your mat. Fold forward. Inhale, come to a halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands and step back for a high plank. We'll do a little core work here. Take your right hand, grab the block, move it to the left side of the mat. Come back to high plank. Grab the block with the left hand, move it to the right side of the, of the mat. And we'll just keep alternating. Try not to twist the hips. Doesn't matter if you come under or over with the block. You're just moving it from side to side. Hopefully building some heat, both in the core, maybe a little sweat. It's all good. One more time each side. Hold it here in high plank. Send the hips high. Down dog. Three cycles of breath here. Come to the top of the mat. Halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Separate those feet enough to bring that block between the thighs once again and come into that chair pose. Sinking the hips back. Lifting the arches so that the ankles don't collapse in. Chair with a block is really good for those who struggle with some knee pain. It allows those knees to really just face forward. Draw that left hand to the hip, right arm reaches tall. Exhale, twist to the left. Hands come to heart center. Lift the heart, sink the hips. Think of a long neck, crown of the head reaching forward. One more cycle of breath. And exhale to fold. Set that block off in front of the mat. Send the right leg high, standing splits. One legged forward fold. The word splits can sometimes be daunting. You always have the option to take the balance here, bringing the hands 
to the ankle. We'll lift the gaze and step it back, low lunge. Draw that left hip back, push down into the left heel, airplane the arms. Find the length, back heel is lifted. Right hand releases, left arm to the sky, low lunge twist. Left hand reaches back, right arm reaches back, returning to airplane arms. And then lifting the arms to the sky, crescent lunge. Nice, strong crescent lunge as that right thigh lifts high. Deep breath in, reach taller. Exhale, high twist to the left. Stay with the twist, send the gaze forward, lift the back heel a little bit higher as you release that right hand down to the earth or a block, a nice tall block works well. Lift that right leg and twist toward the left. This has that tourniquet effect, it never feels great until you release it. On your exhale, step forward, forward fold. We'll take a big toe block, a big toe lock here, separating the feet. Peace fingers, grab those big toes, pull up on the feet as you hinge forward and allow those elbows to release off to the side. I like to shift my weight around a little bit here just to release finding some movement and letting go. Release the hands from the feet, toe heel the feet together, take a halfway lift. And on the exhale, step it back, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. So we built some core strength. Let's give an arm balance a try, even if you've never tried it before. Mountain climber. Walk the hands one inch closer to the feet and one inch closer to each other. Don't overestimate an inch. Inhale, <clears throat> right leg lifts. Exhale, knee comes forward to the right tricep. Inhale, send it high to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw that knee forward. Now push the knee even further forward, your face comes forward. Bend the elbows, left elbow comes inside that hip bone. As you shift the face forward, the left leg might just lift. And then we'll send it back high to the sky, three-legged down dog. Exhale, step it forward, spin the back heel down. Rise to warrior two. And if you didn't get the arm balance, that's okay. Still building heat, building some strength. Interlace the fingers behind the back, push the knuckles down, gaze goes up. On the exhale, hinge forward, humble warrior. Release your jaw, release your neck. We bow down to release tension. And then slowly on an inhale, return to warrior two. Straighten the front leg, reach the right fingertips forward, and actually feel the hips reaching to the back of the mat. And then release into triangle pose, trikonasana. Right hand can come to the shin or the block. Left arm up to the sky. See if you can line up your chin with your arm. If not, that's okay. Ooh, gaze off to the side as well. Feel your feet really growing roots into the earth. Let's 
slowly rise to return to warrior two. And then open up to a five pointed star, arms to the sky, feet point out. Exhale, take goddess pose, bending the elbows, bending the knees. And let's go ahead and lift the heels. Feel the strength of the thighs. Draw the belly in. And use your core muscles to sink lower. Release the heels, see if you can lower the body. Rise back to a five-pointed star. And then hands come to the earth, turning forward and step back. Chaturanga or head right to a down dog. So if you didn't get mountain climbing on the other side, that doesn't mean that you can't try it here. Walk those hands one inch closer to each other and to the feet. Inhale, left leg lifts to the sky. Exhale, draw the knee forward to the outside of that left tricep. Inhale, send it up high. Exhale, draw it forward. Now push the knee even further forward. Bend the elbow, shift your face forward. Right elbow comes inside that hip bone. And maybe the right leg lifts off of the earth. Now this actually does stretch your wrists. You might feel it's a bit uncomfortable. Step back. Three-legged down dog. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, warrior two. Let go of anything that happened with the arm balance and be present in this pose right now. Interlacing the fingers behind the back, gaze goes up. Feel the collarbones opening and exhale to hinge into humble warrior. Bow here to your inner strength, your inner self, your ability to change. Slowly rise, warrior two. Push down into that left heel and straighten the front leg. Reach the left fingertips forward and then a little bit further and release the hand down to the shin. A block, right arm reaches to the sky. Trikonasana. Slight bend to the left knee so that you're not locking it out. Will help you to find some strength in the pose. Slowly rise, warrior two. We'll straighten the front leg and on this side we'll take a prasarita, turning those toes. Arms stay out, stretch, flip the palms open, gaze up and hinge forward. I really need to find a better way to do this pose. I'm always seeming to flip my not best side to the camera. Shift more weight into the balls of the feet. Rise to tall arms. And walk the hands to the front of the mat. <clears throat> Turning the toes, stepping it back. High plank. Pause here. Come down to the forearms. Good work. So hands go straight out from the elbows. Spin the forearm down toward the earth. Inner forearm spins downward. Draw the belly and spread the shoulder blades across the back. Step the right foot to the outside of the mat. Step the left foot out. And the right foot back in. Left foot back in. Change sides. Left out. Right. Left. Right. Go ahead, keep alternating. We'll only do a few of these. Come back to center, hold it. And lower into Sphinx Pose. 
<coughs> arms directly out in front of you. Let the shoulder blades fall down the back. Spin the inner thigh toward the sky. Good. Swing that left forearm so it's parallel to the top of the mat. Push into that forearm. Bend the right knee. Reach on back with the right hand to grab the foot. Push the foot into the hand. Hand pulls on the foot. Just a half Dhanurasana, half bow pose. Release that side. Come back to your sphinx. And then we'll set that up on the other side. Right forearm comes parallel to the top of the mat. Bend the left knee, reach on back with that left hand. Push into the hand with the foot. Pull on the foot with the hand. The thigh will lift off the earth a little bit as you push down into the forearm to lift the chest. And release. Good work. Push back. Child's pose. So activating those core muscles today means that we can give headstand a try. I'm just going to go ahead and tuck myself in here. If you know that there are some things in front of you that you could fall into, you may want to move those things out of the way. Otherwise, we'll just get set up. So come to tall knees or a tabletop position to start here. And then come down onto your forearms, elbows underneath the shoulders or just shoulder distance apart, I should say, and then clasp the hands together in front of you. So resist the temptation to open up those elbows wider. They really should only be shoulder distance apart. Now one of the keys here is that you need to round the back and push the shoulder blades up toward the sky as you draw the belly in. And then you're going to make your crown of the head kind of round over toward the earth. So bring the rounded part of your skull into those fingers, into your hands, and push forward into the hands, not down into the earth. I'm barely touching the earth with my head. I am pushing into the earth, though, with my elbows. So push forward into the hands and down into the elbows, and then push those shoulder blades forward as well. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips to the sky. Walk your feet toward your face. Keep walking them toward the face, and then lift one leg to the sky. Stay here if you'd like. No one? Lift that other leg and come into the headstand. You can also alternate the legs just to see which feels better to start with. When you're done playing around, make your way to a rabbit's pose, which is very similar to child's pose. Knees are a little bit closer, arms cup the back heels. Let your breath settle in. Then we'll make our way onto our backs, tabletop on your back. Grab your block if you have it. 90 degree bend with the knees, arms straight up to the sky with the block between the hands the long way. So now really squeeze into the block so you feel your arms activate. You should feel the biceps and the triceps activating here. And then bring those arms back about 45 degrees. Keep the neck nice and long, slight tuck of the chin. And now you're going to release your heels down to the top of the mat. 
and lift it back to 90 degrees. Inhale, release down. Exhale to lift back up. Inhale down. Exhale back up. Match your breath to your movement. Keep lowering those legs. You've got this. Four more. Good work. Set the block off to the side. Bring the feet toward the sit bones. Let's set up a bridge. Start with your arms long at your sides and tuck the shoulders under. Roll about the arms. So bend the elbows, hands to the sky. So draw the pelvic muscles in and up as you push the low back into the earth. And then lift the hips to the sky for bridge pose. You always have the option to interlace the fingers underneath. I just find that then I shift some of the tension into my low back. So I prefer to really push into my triceps a little bit more. And then draw the butt toward your shoulders. Notice if your weight in your feet is toward the outer edge. And see if you can shift that weight a little bit more toward the middle. Even it out. And slowly lower it down. Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet come together. Knees butterfly open. Maybe you take goal post arms. Maybe it's one hand to the heart, one to the belly. Close your eyes and listen to your breath. Draw the knees together. And then we'll cross that right ankle over the left thigh. Push the right knee forward. You can keep the arms out to a T. And we'll twist. Release the left knee and thigh down to the earth. Sole of that right foot comes down. Knee to the sky. Maybe it's opening up more. And your gaze can go over to the right. Slowly come back to center. We'll change sides. Right foot to the earth. Cross that left ankle over. Push the knee forward. And twist to the right. Gazing to the left. back to center. Draw the knees into the chest and then find happy baby pose reaching for the arches of the feet opening the knees and feet nice and wide. Moving down on the feet to feel the stretch. Push that low back down and maybe a little bit of rolling and rocking from side to side. Come back into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Reach for the soles of the feet. Forehead lifts to the knees. And release into Shavasana. Final resting pose. 
feel the shoulders release. Maybe they tuck under a little bit. Arms become heavy. Hips open. Thighs and calf muscles release into the earth as the heels sink in. Resist the urge to skip Shavasana. Instead, choose to enjoy the pose. Choose to recognize that change sometimes happens when we are still. When we simply choose to breathe, to let the inhale nourish, and the exhale cleanse. Deepen your breath. Begin by moving the head a little bit side to side. Wiggle the toes, fingers. And then take a full body extension, reaching the arms, pointing the toes, arching the back on an inhale. And then rolling to your right. Keeping the eyes closed, your attention drawn inward. Make your way to Sukhasana, cross-legged, seated position. And hands can come to heart center. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale it out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, thumbs to third eye center. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free, bowing forward. Namaste.